from the back of the back lot of a movie studio in Hollywood. It's the, the, the Tom Likas Show. <laughs> you know. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TALK. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. This is a fascinating story. When I say this show writes itself, I mean all you need to do <laughs> is just, you don't even have to open the newspaper. You just look at the front page or the front page of the local section or whatever, and this stuff just jumps off the page. It's like so obvious and so mind-bogglingly stupid. <laughs> this is unbelievable. This from the Associated Press, Dateline, Los Angeles. If woman is a complete dope, in my opinion, just in case her attorney is listening, unless he's a complete dope, a city councilwoman is proposing a moratorium on, get this, A moratorium on fast food restaurants in South Los Angeles. That's right. South Los Angeles, which we were calling South Central until we were told it was politically incorrect to call it South Central. We are now supposed to call it South Los Angeles, but you know, most of us just call it the hood. South Los Angeles has more such eateries, such eateries. Who uses the word eatery except a newspaper? Gary, let's go off to one of the local eateries after uh, after the show tonight. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> we can we can dine at one of the eateries. Fine establishment. Yes. Yes, uh, a moratorium on fast food restaurants in South Central Los Angeles, which has more such eateries than any other part of the county. The ordinance proposed by Councilwoman Jan Perry would stop new fast food restaurants from opening in the area for up to two years while the city establishes a long-term plan to deal with the restaurants that have been linked to health problems. <laughs> in Monday's Los Angeles Times, Perry said the following, which I find fascinating. The people don't want them. But when they don't have any other options, they may gravitate to what's there. <laughs> the people don't want them. Yeah. The people who own McDonald's and Burger King and Jack in the Box and KFC and Taco Bell and Wendy's, they're all stupid. They are building fast food restaurants in South Central Los Angeles, even though people don't want them. And they must be doing really lousy business because these companies continue to build more fast food restaurants in South Central Los Angeles. <laughs> I mean, this... <laughs> I do not know the race of Councilwoman Perry, but excuse me for saying that this sounds just a little racist. And if she's black, I'm even more offended. You know, I mean, what is this quote? Here's what this quote sounds like to me. Here's what it sounds like to me. Here's, it sounds like she's saying this. It sounds like she's saying, boy, those dopey Negroes, you know, they just don't know what's good for them. And we're going to make a law that protects them from themselves. She is, black is she black? <laughs> Fascinating. 
or very tan. And that's fascinating. Uh, you got to be kidding me. If the people don't want them, then why do they go? That's like the morons who argue about Costco people, or, or Walmart. People don't want Walmart in our community. Why not? Well, if it was here, everybody would go. And that would be devastating to the community. Why? Well, because uh, Walmart would be so much cheaper and better than what we have now, and everybody would flock to it. It would be, it would be wrong for our community. I mean, what would happen if, if they built a Walmart? Everybody would go. And this is the same thing. African Americans don't want McDonald's or Jack of the Box or Burger King. Yeah, what they want is sushi bars. Right? They want steakhouses where a steak is $47 a steak. They'd like salad bars. <laughs> Are we kidding here? I mean, should Matsuhisa open a new uh, a new sushi bar, uh, maybe down uh, on 103rd Street? And by the way, how about going to the supermarket, picking up some produce? I mean, seriously. The implication here uh, by a black councilwoman is that black people are not smart enough to find healthy food and go eat it. The people don't want them, the restaurants. But when they don't have any other options, they may gravitate to what's... What do you mean you don't have any other options? You go down the produce aisle, you pick up, you know, some lettuce, some tomatoes, some cucumbers, yeah, Brussels sprouts, Maybe even some collard greens. You put them all there in your in your in your shopping cart. And you go home. You put them in what's called a a pan. <laughs> then you kind of stir them up a little bit, put a little salt on them, and then you put them on a plate. And and what Councilwoman Perry is saying is that the black community is too dumb to figure that out. Uh, is she saying that they're dumb or they're lazy? Which is it? I don't get it. And by the way, where I live, I don't know how many fast food restaurants are in the hood in Los Angeles, but uh, within practically walking distance where I live, I've got McDonald's, I've got El Pollo Loco, I've got KFC, I've got a Wendy's. These are all near where I live. I don't live far from uh, non-chains like Pink's Hot Dogs, not far away. I mean, <laughs> there's fast food. I, I, lived, I have Carney's. On the Sunset Strip? Yeah. That's good stuff. That's good eating. We like that. I mean, you know what? If I don't want fast food, here's what I do. <laughs> I drive over to Ralph's. Show my Ralph's Club card so I get in the door. You know, I get the uh, extra special advantage of being a member of the Ralph's Club. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I work my way. By the way, it's very selective membership of the Ralph's Club. Maybe that's the problem. They're not letting blacks into Ralph's Club. It's another club that blacks can't join, the Ralph's Club. No, I use my Ralph's Club card. I go in, and if, I, if, if, I'm not, if I'm feeling like not eating hamburgers or chicken, I head over to the supermarket, and I load up my wagon with, you know, salad mix and some tomatoes, yeah, avocados maybe, get some salad dressing. Maybe I get some black beans. I make some black bean chili at home or something with no meat. That that that's what you do. So when you're saying that we have to put a moratorium on fast food places in South Central Los Angeles, what you're saying is uh, that black people somehow are exceptionally stupid or lazy. That's what you're saying. Well, I don't believe that, but that's what they're. That's what you're saying when you're saying that we have to keep fast food restaurants out of South Central Los Angeles. If you don't want to eat at a fast food restaurant, I got two words for you. Don't go. <laughs> it's that simple. I must say that as much as I love McDonald's, I, I, I sometimes go weeks at a time without going to McDonald's. Weeks at a time. Just simply because I might be trying to eat lighter, or I might be uh, want to make dinner at home, or I have a little more control over the portion sizes and the ingredients, what have you. If I don't want to eat fast food, I, I make healthy food at home. 
is is Councilwoman Jan Perry saying that uh, the black people are not capable of that? What is she saying? The story goes on here. It says the ordinance is a response to suspicions that obesity and related illnesses, including high blood pressure, diabetes, and heart disease, are connected to the high fat foods that dominate fast food restaurant menus. Well, these are problems all Americans share, no matter what race they are. It says here that an analysis by the Times found that South Central Los Angeles has the country's, the counties, this is Los Angeles County's highest concentration of fast food restaurants. Well, maybe that's because that's where the customers are. Ever think that might be the reason? People like fast food there. (laughs) Ridiculous. Says here, the area also has higher rates of obesity than the rest of the county, according to a County Department of Health study that found 30% of adults in South Central Los Angeles are obese, compared with 20.9% in the county overall. For children, the obesity rate was 29% in South Los Angeles compared with 23.3% in the county. Let me speculate and do something a little politically incorrect here, okay? We know, and it's not a secret, it's a fact, that there are more out-of-wedlock births in the black community, which means more single mothers trying to raise children, That means that instead of home being home making dinner or lunch, mom is at work, and the kids are left to their own devices. This is not the fault of McDonald's. It's not the fault of Wendy's. It's not the fault of Burger King. It's not the fault of El Pollo Loco. It's not the fault of Carl's Jr. It's not the fault of KFC or Taco Bell. It's not the fault of any of them. If you have a higher rate of single heads of household, You're going to have less family meals cooked at home with love and with the right ingredients. That's the fact, Jack. Or Jared. (laughs) Says here, some public health experts cheered the proposal. Uh, Mark Valianatos, at the director, he's the director of the Center for Food and Justice. You have got to be kidding me. The Center for Food and Justice at Occidental College. Gary, I want to attend a class there. I want to audit a course. I want to attend a class at the Center for Food and Justice. Yes, and there's a director of the Center for Food and Justice, and here's what he says. He says, while limiting fast food restaurants isn't a solution in itself, it's an important piece of the puzzle. So what you're really saying is people can't control themselves. So now we need to make laws to protect them from themselves. It says here, some of the restaurant industry criticized the moratorium proposal, which would only permit full-service sit-down restaurants to open as misguided. You, you, you just know, by the way, that like, you know, some, some, some company like Denny's is probably lobbying for this law. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, people deserve a a healthy meal, like a Grand Slam breakfast. They should be eating that fast food. They should be having something rooty, tooty, fresh, and fruity. That's right. says here, Dennis Lombardi, food service strategies chief at restaurant consulting firm WD Partners. Are they the makers of WD40? I think so said the restriction was, quote, like saying we're not going to allow anybody to sell Chevrolets anymore because we want people to buy nothing but Mercedes-Benzes. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 you, by the way, I have said on this program many times, I, I, I hate the stupid um, happy talk about celebrating diversity and all that crap. Look, I prove how I feel every day. I put my money where my mouth is. Los Angeles is the most diverse community in America. And I uh, spent a couple of million dollars buying and renovating a house in the Hollywood Hills. And I live here and I plan to live here with the diversity because I love living here with people from everywhere. People of all colors, people from all countries of the world are here. And uh, by the way, I believe that uh, black people are just as responsible and just as able to control themselves as anybody else. Why do we need to limit the construction of fast food places in the black neighborhoods? Why? 
Can somebody explain this to me? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Didn't you say that every man likes fake breasts? I said in this country, my husband's Brazilian. They love those asses in Brazil. <laughs> you got a big whopping J-Lo oh, ass. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You got that Jennifer Lopez thing going on. No. Big, no, big ass. That. The Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. All right. Los Angeles City Councilwoman Jan Perry has proposed an ordinance that would prevent fast food restaurants from opening in South Central Los Angeles for two years. Why? Bridget on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi. How are you? Great. Um, well, I've been listening to you for the last, I guess, half an hour now, 20 minutes. Um, and I do agree with a lot of the points that you've made. I think that blacks are a vital part of our community in California and Los Angeles in specifically. And I think that they do, they do share responsibility just as much as white people do, as Caucasians, as Asians, as any other part of the community in Los Angeles. And I appreciate that, you know, you love the diversity of the city. However, I think that the bigger point here isn't whether or not blacks are responsible. I think it's that they really don't have the same opportunities as other people do in other areas. Why do you say, wait, 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 like what, to eat healthy? No, they don't. How do they not, who is stopping? They don't share the same economic demographic. It's just a fact. Wait a minute, first of all, first of all, eating healthy is cheaper than eating fast food. I completely agree with you, and I think So the economic argument doesn't hold any water. But what I'm saying is that it's not only economics, it's also families, like you said. There are more broken families in the black communities than there are in the Caucasian So the solution is not telling McDonald's, so the solution is not telling McDonald's and, and, and Carl's Jr. they can't open any new restaurants. The solution is for people to not have children unless they're in a family. Ultimately, in an ideal world, that would be the, the solution. You're right. But, but telling they McDonald's they can't open any new McDonald's is not going to solve anything. I don't think that I don't think that it will solve things, but I definitely definitely think that the bigger message that they may be able to send to black communities by closing the McDonald's. And let me just finish my what? point before you before you say something. I think that the bigger message that they may be able to and that they're hoping to be able to send to those communities is that look, we're not going to encourage any more people eating at fast food restaurants, and therefore, well, we aren't encouraging them to do anything. They're doing what they want to do. I agree 100% with you, but I think from their perspective, they're getting so much slack for having the fast food restaurants in those areas because of the obesity in those areas that they're trying to cover their asses by closing. This this is as stupid as the effort a few years ago to to, to close Korean liquor stores in South Central Los Angeles because black people can't control themselves. If there's a liquor store, they have to go in. And so we have to make sure that doesn't happen by by closing liquor stores in, quote, the community. This is the stupidest damn thing I ever heard. And it assumes it assumes that black people are a bunch of malleable morons, which I don't. What it assumes is that maybe by closing or not opening any more of these fast food chains in those areas, it may force these people to stay at home and eat at home instead of going and venturing off into fast food. Well, by by the way, they're smart enough to know that if there's no McDonald's in, in, in watch, you can drive over over to Inglewood, you know, come on, this is stupid. No, it's think, just stupid. I, I honestly, I agree with you that on the whole it won't work, but I think that it's a quick fix. It's not, no, it fixes that, nothing. First of all, this particular ordinance does not talk about closing anything. It talks about it talks stopping. About not opening that. So, yeah, so what is no. that going to solve? Absolutely nothing. Well, I think that they're making the point that they're not going to add to the problem that's already existing. But the, but the, pro- the problem is of obesity is nationwide. Why do, why do black people need special help that the rest of us don't need? I don't think they need special help, but I think that there's a specifically higher problem in those areas. I, I, I don't think, by the way, you're comparing this area to the rest of Los Angeles. Look at America. This is the it's fattest disgusting. country on it's earth. Disgusting. So I want to know why black people need special help. Why, why don't we help people in Hollywood who live near all the fast food places? I think that the 
communities that you have referred to on the show are communities that are often not able to have other, as many options as other communities. They have the same like options. Yeah. You have Ralph's. You go in, you show your Ralph's Club card, and you buy some lettuce and tomatoes, but for God's with, sake. With all, but with all due respect to those communities, how many people in those communities are actually educated on the nutritional? Whose fault is that? I'm sorry? Whose fault is that? Theirs. Entirely. Theirs. And so they're going to get educated. They're going to get educated when you can't have a McDonald's on every street corner. No, but are you saying it's their fault? By the way, anyone who is not educated about this subject, it is your own fault. I don't care what color you are. I agree with you that ultimately it's their own fault. But a two-year-old, a four-year-old, a six-year-old child, children did not have to be born into low economic bracket families. That's not the point. We all have the same Internet. We all have the same television. By the way, no. by the way, black people watch more television than any demographic group in America. But the they're information not this, Why they're not? not? The shows why are not? That. Why not? Because they're not educated in the way to be able to make those They're not educated. So how educated do you have to be to know that 60 minutes is on channel 2 at 7 o'clock on Sunday? How much education do you need to know that? It's not about how much education you need to know. It's about it's about a culture. It's about the, the black culture is not in tune with the same thing that the Caucasian demographic is in tune with. It's I see. Just, and so and so the, the way to solve the problem is to have socialism uh, or, or or totalitarianism, where instead of having a free enterprise system, where we're going to extreme. we're going to tell the community what's good for them, and then we're going to act on. Totalitarianism. I don't think it's socialism. We don't live in a socialist country, and I think it's extreme to call it that. I, I don't T- telling telling businesses they can't open fast food restaurants because people are too stupid, uh, too uneducated, or too ignorant to not eat in them is no, is, is racist. No. It's racist and it's socialist. Yes, well, and I agree with you. And I'm, look, I'm I'm Latin and I live in in a city. I live in Beverly Hills. I'm a Latina girl, and I understand how this could be misconstrued as racist. By the way, should we close steakhouses in Beverly Hills? Should we close Cut and Mastro's because they serve those big, thick steaks with an inch of fat on them? And you look at all those people having heart problems in Beverly Hills, all those old Jewish people who have to go to Cedar sinai and you know, get their uh, angioplasties and stuff. Maybe we should close all the steakhouses in Beverly Hills. What do you think? I mean, I, I don't think I, I don't think it's Nate Nals. Nate Nals selling that pastrami for God's sake. How many how many people have died of heart attacks going in and eating pastrami? But I think I think let's close down the Jewish delis in Beverly Hills. Let's close down the steakhouses. Let's 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 order nothing but salad bars and sushi restaurants. <laughs> that would be a really really boring world. Let's, let's let's get oh oh that would be a boring world. But it's okay if the black people down South Central have a boring world. That's fine. So you're sitting there in Beverly Hills, Sam. This is really good for the blacks. No, uh, they, they won't have any more Burger Kings to go to. What I'm saying is that I think you're attacking the wrong people here. I don't think that the problem is whether or not McDonald's doesn't op- open an, decides to not open another branch. We that have business. a free enterprise system here. People have the right I not agree. to eat at a fast I food place. I agree, but I think you have a forum here to be able to speak about important topics. And I think yes, and, you're, and you have been speaking for seven and a half minutes. Of course, I have a forum to speak about them, and yeah, I have a right to say. That I have a right to say that you are sitting there by remote control and 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 saying what's good for the people in this community. I am. Yeah, you are sitting there in Beverly Hills telling I'm telling voicing, telling us that the blacks voicing, don't need another Jack in the Box. I'm voicing my opinion, and it's a humble opinion, and it's a personal opinion. It's not the truth. I'm not preaching. I'm just saying. Personally, I don't feel that the problem is whether McDonald's opens another branch. All right, now, now, is this limited to chains? I mean, should we, uh, you know, they have that Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles, so there's a the line of black people waiting to get it. Should we close here, that down, too? The bigger, problem, the bigger problem is educating people. Those waffles are good. And I think the bigger problem is Slather them with butter. Ugh. I think the bigger problem, I'll say it again, I think it's educating people. And I Let's think tell that, Roscoe's they have to sell lettuce from now on. I think the bigger problem is educating people. And I think that really if, take, if you're to take a hard look at the situation, it's really not about whether or not you shut down anything or whether the hood needs more. The, the hood needs more sushi bars. Is that what you're saying? Hang on a second, Bridget. Let me get Alex on here. Alex, what did you want to say to Bridget? All right. All I want to say is that you're acting like black people are stupid because they're not, oh, they're not getting the right education. So obviously they don't know that they can't go somewhere else and eat. 
Now, I don't see them shutting down anything in Texas. Isn't that the saddest state? And there's more white people there, right? I don't understand the difference. I I agree 100% with you. I'm saying that if you're to look at a specific area like Tom was doing, like South Central, part of the reason is not because people are stupid. Actually, I was saying the contrary, if you're listening. I was saying the real problem is... You said they weren't educated. What is not educated? I thought it was stupid, right? No. People that aren't educated aren't people that are stupid. Those are people that... Stupid people are people that don't understand anything, whether or not you teach them. People that are uneducated are people that haven't had the opportunity to learn the things that they should. Opportunity for what, they have health class. I don't understand. Doesn't every child go... So you're saying... So where are you from? Excuse me? Where are you from? I'm from Las Vegas, and I lived in the ghetto, and uh, I came from a lower-scale family, and I am not fat. And, yes, my mom was a single parent. And so you're telling me that because you had a for- the fortunate experience to have a mother who was caring and, you know, you were educated that everyone else in the ghetto is educated and knows, like, that you shouldn't be eating. I'm saying days. that, like, it doesn't mean that, oh, just automatically because it's in South Central and people have to automatically be uneducated about something. That's why that, we got though. shut down. I'm, not saying, that, food I'm saying that if you're going to look at a general population, it's already a generalization. We're not talking about specifics and individual people. I'm saying that if you're going to compare Beverly Hills to South Central, there are more people with more opportunity, as as annoying and as, you know, wrong and as unjust as it is. There are people with more opportunity in upper-class communities than there are with More opportunities for what? To just buy different foods? To, to, to figure out what the difference is between eating at It's home too complicated for those black people. I mean, they, they, this you is hard for them. So. You guys are making it about that. It's not about that. I'm just simply saying that people in lower class communities don't have the same opportunities. It's so basic, yet you guys are making yeah, it Yeah, they don't have, they don't have stores with produce departments. They don't have Trader don't Joe's. There's yeah. Albertsons. There's Food for Less, probably. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure they could go to Food for Less. I go for Okay. Less. Well, whatever whatever you think it might be, that's not the case. So obviously you haven't lived in the ghetto long long enough to realize it. No, I mean, please I don't, know don't tell say. me what it is. I, I don't know where you're from. But she's you're in the ghetto. Of, she's in the ghetto of Beverly Hills. I live in Beverly Hills now. I live in Beverly Hills now, but I wasn't raised here. I where, live in Beverly Hills. Where were you raised, Malibu? Are you fat and uneducated? No, I'm not actually. <laughs> I'm educated. So and you're I'm smarter. Not. Wait, let me understand. So you're smarter than the blacks. Is that right? I'm not saying I'm smarter than the blacks. Well, do you know I'm what Mexican. to eat? Wait, do you know what? Wait, wait. Do you know what to eat? So, wait. It would be hard so you're Mexican. Mexican. Are Mexicans <laughs> smarter than blacks? Is that what you're saying? No, absolutely not. Do you know what to eat? Do you know what's absolutely healthy not. and what's not? Do you know what's absolutely healthy? Absolutely not. You absolutely don't know. Not. You don't know what's not. healthy. You're not born with the. With you don't. So you're I'm asking you now today. I don't. I'm asking what you're born with. with. I'm asking today. Do you know what's what's healthy to eat and what's not? Definitely, a hundred percent. Do you know where to get healthy food? Of course. But you grew up in a bad neighborhood. How did you learn that? I grew up in a bad neighborhood, but I went to school. Oh, so you're telling me black people don't go to school? No, I'm saying that I had more opportunity because of my education. You had more opportunity. What opportunity? You you went to school. They went to school. You're smart. They're smart. What? You're t- are you smarter than black people? No, but I don't believe that the people that grew grew up in the ghetto have the same opportunity. But you you person. grew up in the ghetto. But I didn't. But I'm not comparing myself to somebody who grew up in Beverly Hills. Well, dear, the reason you're in Beverly Hills is because you got a good body and you had sex with the right rich guy. That's how you went from the ghetto to Beverly Hills. We all know that. If that's what, if that's how you like to think about Darling, it, darling, that's, that's how it works. I, well, I'm not, I'm not here to talk about my, my, my personal story, darling. Like it's, you like, don't have to. But the point is, like me to get the point is, is I want to know why you're smarter. I want to know why you're smarter than black people. I want to understand. I don't think I'm smarter. I think that the reason. Well, then why don't we take the fast food restaurants out of Beverly Hills? There aren't any fast food restaurants in Beverly Hills. Uh, there are a couple if you get down around Wilshire Boulevard. There are some down there. I don't think so. No. There yeah, are. there are, and there's Starbucks. That's not fast food. Sure it is. No, it's not. (laughs) Well...
It's unhealthy, <laughs> I, but it's not fast food. Well, I don't know there, how you define you, fast food. Tom, if you really want to argue this, you could be unhealthy at almost any restaurant. Anything in excess right. is unhealthy. But, but you, 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 you're you Mexican and you grew up in a bad neighborhood, but you know more about nutrition than those dopey black people who don't know what to do. Is that right? About, is that what you're saying? About, it's not about being dopey and it's not about being black. It's about being in a neighborhood where you don't have the same outlets for educating yourself about nutrition as other people do. And that's just... But, but what, what, what outlets did you have? How did you get the information? That, I study that in school. I study nutrition really? in school. Really? But, but, but blacks don't get the same opportunity as Mexicans? No. I, I'm just saying... Well, so you went, what, you went to school in a bad neighborhood. Were there any blacks in your neighborhood? Definitely. Were they kept out of the classes that you were taking to learn what kind of healthy food there is? So they were there too, right? So why do why would you know any more about eating healthy than black people? I'm not claiming that I know more than black people. I'm, I'm claiming that. But you're saying black people need this special black people need this special protection because they're clearly not as smart as you. No. They don't. No, 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 no. First of all, I told you once before when I first started speaking to you that I don't think it's the right avenue. I don't think that this is the right right way to solve the problem. I don't think that this is the right thing to do. I don't think it's going to cut obesity in half overnight. I think it's it's a, it's a cop out. So that McDonald's doesn't have to look bad, so that fast food restaurants can cover their butts. But if you're really to look at the issue here, it's not like I keep saying. It's not about closing anything down. It's about simply the fact that people have to be educated. And it's not so simple. It's not about, you know, going to the market versus driving to Inglewood to get a burger when you really want a burger. It's about really understanding what things ha- do to your body, what the long-lasting effects are. And I'm not just talking food. It has to do with a lot of other things. It has to do with exercise. It has to do with... Why would you know more about that than black people? Because I've sought the education. I've sought the knowledge. Yeah, but why, why would you have more education than a black person? I'm not saying that I had more education. I looked for it. I looked for it. Why, 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 are, so it. you're more ambitious than black people. No, I think that... Black people don't like looking for information, and Mexicans do. Is that what you're saying? I I think that out of the people that I lived with, yeah, out of my community, I was definitely more ambitious than most of the people around me. And that I... Really? So now you're saying Mexicans are also lazy? I think that people don't have the same opportunities that... Well, you you have the... Wait wait a minute. They have the same opportunities you had, don't they? I think you have to be a very driven person in the ghetto to be able to get out. That's all I'll say. And I think that mm. most people... But, but even if you don't ghetto. get out of the ghetto, you, you, you can certainly get information about health and about nutrition just like you did, right? Totally, Tom. But I also all right. think... So then there's harder. no need to I give any special harder. treatment it's to any harder. particular it's neighborhood. Harder. It's much harder and it's much more threatening and it's much more... Really? Well, it's funny, funny it, did, it didn't stop you. It didn't no, stop you to marrying into Beverly Hills, did it? No, I'm not married. I'm single. <laughs> How did you get into Beverly Hills? I have a law degree. How'd you get that? You what you, you lived in the that? ghetto and you got a law degree? How is that possible? I got a loan and I paid all my bills. I had to keep well, two jobs. But wait, where did you get really that? But situation. I thought minorities don't have these opportunities. How did you get that opportunity? I worked my ass off. Oh, so what are you saying? That black people don't work as hard as you do? No, I'm saying that most people don't have the drive. Once they're when you're beat down, every I see. Single day, so let's review. Bla- because most black people don't have drive, we shouldn't let them have McDonald's and Burger no, King in their neighborhoods. No, I'm what do you say? I'm saying that because <laughs> it's awesome that you twist everyone's words. I'm not twisting. I know I'm not twisting your words, dear. I'm it's boiling really, them down to the nut. It's a gift. It's a gift, really, Tom. So you I have a, say, oh, it's my gift. I see. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I will say this, like. To be honest with you, it's like it's gotten so off the off the subject from what we were speaking about initially. But really, what it comes down to, like I keep saying to you, is that when you do live in the ghetto, when you are in Compton, when you are in Inglewood, it's not that easy to get out, okay? And it's not that easy to become. So therefore, we need to tell we need to tell the people in the ghetto we're going to decide what's good for you, and we're not going to no. let you have any more fast food locations. No, I think I I don't think like I said I don't think that's that's what they should do. They I'm need uh, by the that. way they need more dead and IHOPs because this law would not cover them. <laughs> I'm honestly just saying that I think that there needs to be something else that's done. I don't think that this will solve anything. I don't yeah, no, no. Right. You see, here's the thing. Politicians love to make it sound like they're doing something when in reality they're doing nothing. You see? That's what this is all about. It's like that Megan's Law. 
which has nothing to do with food. Uh, right. th- you know, Megan's Law, we're going to tell you where the sexual predators are. Why? So you can burn down their house? Right. I mean, this right. makes no, absolutely I mean, no I sense. If, if the sexual predators that dangerous, they should stay in jail. But no, we're going to let them out of jail, and then we're going to give you their home address so you know so where they let live. Me ask me That's what great. Would you, so let me ask you something. What would you propose in terms of solving the national crisis, which is about really like obesity throughout the nation? What would you do? What well, first of all, do? I'm not convinced the government can solve that problem. I agree. But and and since do? it can't, I would say uh, do nothing. Uh, uh, give people the information, and if they choose not to act on it, let them die of heart attacks. That's fine. Okay. And that's what I would do about it. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I want to talk first about the 167 pound nine. I don't buy that for a minute. No, I don't either. I think you've got to be drugly. You've got to be drunk and ugly to get her later on in the <laughs> <Drugly>. evening. Drugly. <laughs> it's the Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood at 1 800 5800 Tom. Thank you for tuning in. We are talking about a proposal by. Los Angeles City Councilwoman Jan Perry. That would place a moratorium on the construction of new fast food franchises in South Central Los Angeles. Because, why? Because black people are obese and they need our help to stop getting fat, I guess. I don't know. I don't get it. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello to Jill on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. This is Jill. How are you? Doing great, Jill. Hi. I've been listening to you for four years, and I really love you, but I think you're kind of missing the point here. I've lived in South Central. In fact, that's where I grew up. And then I went to high school by the beach, and I live in Beverly Hills now. And the point is, is that the South LA is saturated with fast food places. There is no way, uh, no how, the amount of fast food places in Beverly Hills that there are in South Central. There's just more. Do you know why? There's more. Do you know why? No, why? Because people in Beverly Hills can afford to eat more than 99-cent tacos. That's right, exactly. And I heard you saying that it's less expensive to eat healthier, but I believe it's more expensive to eat Oh, not at all, because in Beverly Hills, they've got $37 steaks. Well, but also there's 99 cent tacos, as you said, and there's the dollar meal, and and that's right. easier. You drive through, you get a dollar meal, you go home. Right. You know, there's no, there's no, um, there's no. What is that place called? Um, not Trader Joe's. There's no Whole Foods in South Central. Yeah, but you know why that is? Why? Uh, because that is a poor community, and let's right. face it, uh, who can afford to shop at Whole Foods? For right. Christ's sake, I, I myself don't go in there sometimes because of the cost of everything in there. Right. It's very expensive. Yes. Well, that, so, so should Whole Foods open up a market in South Central L.A. No, and then have no but, customers? But uh, should, 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 every... should, should Nobu Matsuhisa open a sushi bar <laughs> uh, in South Central L.A. Where, where it costs $75 for each person to eat out? No, but no. there's a fast food restaurant on every block. Because because there's a market for it. Right, exactly. And and by the way, that's what a free enterprise system is all about. Um, I just I just don't think it's a good idea. Wait, wait, wait. wait. It, who, it's you know in a free enterprise system. I understand. It's not your business. <laughs> it's not your business. And all of that. I if understand. people don't want fast food places, here's how you get them out of the neighborhood. Well, the Stop the- going there. But what if the people in the community decide that they don't want them there? That's Here's how you do it. Stop going to them, and they will close. By the way, as you look around town, there have been fast food places that have closed around Los Angeles. I've seen a bunch of Pioneer chickens that were abandoned. I've seen Boston chickens that went out of business. I have seen, I mean, there's a bunch of fast food. There was a McDonald's at the corner of Sunset and Highland, across from Hollywood High. Mm-hmm. That went out of business. You're right. So if people so. stop going, they will close. Well, maybe that's what they'll do. Maybe that's they'll... what free enterprise is all about. Well, that's all I wanted to say. And thank you. And can you can you take me out Kobe style? You know I can, Jill. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. 
The Tom Likas Show.